Okay, here we've got a uh, low grade that Ewok Medicine Man from 1983, and this is on a UK Palatoy card. So it's very similar to the US Kenner card. The only difference is there's no logo here. There should be a logo there, but there isn't. And the same picture, same figure. And as you can see, the low grade figure is quite brown tanned looking and he comes with a headdress which is there with a sort of bird skull on it and a staff which is quite elaborate and nicely detailed and the fur on the figure looks really good so for a 1983 figure this low grey is really good if you compare him to the say 1978 Chewbacca then Kenner has uh, Palatoy have really come far in making furry critters so we've got low grey. Never had this one when I was a kid. The only Ewok I had when I was a kid was Chief Chirper. And when the other Ewoks came out, I sort of lost interest because I was about 14, 15 then. Okay, so it's UK graded. So it's on a. In a so Star Wars Return of the Jedi, low grey 1983 Palatoy 65 back rarities, two stars. And the card gets 75, the bubble gets 75, and the figure gets 90%. The figure is very decent. And what I paid for this, you could get the same, just the figure graded. It probably cost more than this. So, there you go. Low grey. Another thing about Pilot Toy cards is underneath the Return of the Jedi logo, there's a sort of black bar and the US cards never had that. This is sort of quite an international Palatoy card because it has five languages on the top. It has it in French, Dutch, uh, I'm not sure what the bottom language is, German and English. So it has five languages on this card. So this is moving towards the sort of tri-logo card. The bubble is a Palatoy bubble so it's clear which is a good thing because Kenner bubbles tend to yellow, especially on Jedi cards and Power of the Force cards. But on this card, it stays clear. It's a bit dented at the top, that's why it got 75. You can see a bit of a dent there. And Palatoy tended to use oversized bubbles, so even though this bubble is quite small, it's still kind of big. And there's no logo there, so Palatoy sometimes. Well, with up to some of the Empire Strikes Back cards, they had this really nice logo there, which was red and blue, and then they just stopped using it. Same with Meccano cards, they stopped using the logo on Return of the Jedi cards. And before that, the French cards had a really nice logo as well. But this card's designed to be sold in England, Germany, f uh, and the Benelux countries even maybe France as well. Nice figure. Articulation, the head is fixed, it doesn't move at all. Shoulders swivel and the uh, legs swivel. And then he also comes with a sort of bag where he keeps his herbs and stuff like that to do his sort of medicine stuff there. You can see the case has got a quite bad scratch on it but that's not the end of the world. And the picture is the classic image and a lot of you will know this because in the last year they bought out low grey on a vintage collection card and this is the same image so this is the UK card or Palatoy card and I'll show you the back in a minute okay here's the back of the card so it's uh, very similar to the US card it just says Star Wars action figures collect all 65 and you've got all 65 that were available at the time and then you've got the two Ewoks, Low Grey and Chief Chirp are blacked out and this was done to uh, not spoil the surprise of the Ewoks in Return of the Jedi and then obviously the Ewoks became a sort of uh, bone of contention with a lot of fans how could these little teddy bears defeat the Empire on the ground and Obviously, George Lucas was using these as a sort of analogy to Vietnam with the sort of uh, Viet Cong as sort of
battle of. You know, who were able to defeat the mighty technology of the U.S. Army in the in the tropics, and so George Lucas wanted to use the Ewoks. Or originally, he wanted to use the Wookies, but the, the Wookies were able to use technology, so he decided to cut them down to size or half the si height and use a more primitive race. And they were able to defeat the Empire on the ground. And then at the bottom there's the UK offer, special offer, Chewbacca Bondolier strap. I've shown this offer before. It says to get your Bondolier strap, just collect five Star Wars action figures, cut out action figures and cut out and send their package names. So in the UK we didn't cut out the POPs, we cut out the names and we had yet to send them your name and address and the cheque or postal order for three pounds fifty to Chewbacca Bondelier offer PO Box five three four Erdington Birmingham B twenty four OQ five and the offer was open to UK residents to January the thirty first, nineteen eighty four. Sometimes this is blacked out that especially the top sentence and then you've got the sort of Lucasfilm Limited and all that sort of stuff there. So this is the back of a common, easy to find UK 65 back card Chewbacca offer. Really easy to find these, these cards. Very common in the UK. Also common in the US as well. So certain figures are more common on Palatoy cards than Kenner cards. I'd say the Snow Trooper, Imperial Snow Trooper on the Return of the Jedi Palatoy card is the most easiest way to get that figure these days. So some certain figures on Palatoy cards are maybe the Snow Snow Trooper, the C three PO with the removable limbs is also very common on Return of the Jedi Palatoy cards. Uh, Luke Hoff is most likely to turn up on a Palatoy card as well. Uh, Return of the Jedi card. Let's see if there's any others. Um, about any others really that are going to be more common than their US current counterparts. Maybe the Gamorrean Guard, the Klaatu, they're pretty common on um, Jedi cards, Palatoy cards. Uh, Reeves, maybe. General Medane, definitely very common on the uh, Palatoy cards. So, and now I think they're overall nicer than the Kenner cards. I prefer, well, you know, these are the ones we had over here. We also had Kenner cards, but these are what are specific specifically for the UK market and Europe. So very nice. And we'll have one more look at the front. Okay, some people ask me on my channel, uh, how do you afford get get the money for all of this stuff? So obviously here's a. Uh, gone for the cheapest option here which was a, um, a 75 grade overall so I've just gone for uh, you know but the figures are 90 so it's a U90 in there and the card's not in the best of Nick but it still se it gets a 75 and you can see a crease there in the corner the card's slightly warped not nothing too major bubble has denting at the top and but still remain clear and you know so can't complain and for about you know you wouldn't get this figure any cheaper even ungraded you'd expect to pay more than what I paid for this so I'm not going to complain there and you know so the, if you bought the vintage collection version of this that came out last year, you're still you're talking about ten pounds in the UK. And this what this one, which is the original, okay, it costs four times as much, but still, what would you rather own, the imitation or the real, the real deal? So there you go. Low grey. That picture is just pretty cool. And 
I mean they did a really good job with this figure so there are variations with this figure in terms of how dark the stripes are in comparison to the under fur or the lighter fur and stuff like that but you know that's nothing too major okay so that's the low grey Ewok medicine man 1983 and you know it might be worth trying to track it down this one no one has seemed interested in it I mean I think the guy who was selling this had uh, better stuff like higher graded stuff but you know you can't have everything especially when you've been I've been buying uh, a few rare figures like the brown haired Luke and I should be getting that small headed Han soon so and that cost an arm and a leg okay so low grey the second e one of the first Ewoks to be released Really nice original card there, UK Palatoy.